out Imperial City and the Dark Angels are on the hunt for the World Eaters. Now because we're in a built up city, we're going to be playing the city fight rules on top of this as well. So it's found in the rule book. Uh, some very nice additions there. So most notably if you stick to the road, you go an extra 3 inches I think. And if you've got the high ground, if you're a level above anyone, and you shoot down upon somebody, they do not get any cover save. Also if you hang in cover for a turn and you stay there, then you get an additional plus one that you cover save as well. So very good rules if you like uh, more in depth sort of game. So very good, I invite you to have a look at it. All right, and so for the mission, because it's the Dark Angels and I like to keep things secret, it's a secret even to me because uh, we're using the open war cards. So if you've not played with these or you don't know about them, uh, have a look at them, they're really, really good. Possibly one of my favorite things about the new edition 40k. So what you do is instead of picking a mission What you do is you, you've got five cards to choose from. We'll not be using these end two in this game uh, So we'll just forget about that just for ease. So what we'll do is we we'll pick a deployment card So this will be the mission uh, Deployment, so it's a vanguard strike looking deployment Now we see what objective we need. So it's supply cash. We'll go further into that when we when I read it to see what it's all about and twist is what kind of twist you have on the battle and that is battle frenzy so we're going to have a look at uh, these in detail so the objective is supply cash so there's there will be six objectives on the board we'll place those in just a second and if you control the objective you roll a dice at the start of each player's turn in any order you wish if you roll a six you found the main objective or you found the supply cash so that is the one that matters. All other objectives are removed and you must hold that supply at the end of the game. So uh, it's almost like a hidden objective there, so that's really cool. Battle Frenzy, very apt for what we're dealing with today. With the World Eaters add one to the attacks characteristic of all models in this battle, so that is the twist. So everyone has got a plus one attack. Corn will be pleased. Right, 2,000 points. Of the Dark Angels, we're getting the game in before the new codex comes out because it is coming out soon. So we we'll want to try uh, before and after. I was going to just not play them until the new codex come out, but it's too inviting, especially my boys, the Dark Angels. So uh, what we've got is we've got two fast attack detachments, and that's given us seven command points in total: three for Battle Forge and one each for the detachment. So we've got two HQs to fulfil the uh, requirements there so we've got Samuel he's going to be the warlord he's going to have tenacious survivor so he's going to get to ignore wounds on a six plus and he is fantastic character really really good now we've got Asmodai and he's going to be leading the Deathwing contingent so we've got the Deathwing Knight here uh, very interesting weapon on this guy the flail it's, uh, the damage actually spills over onto the rest of the squad, so it's not usual kind of damage. Uh, so watch out for him. All of these are really good maces as well. They're going to take a ride in the Land Raider Crusader, so multi-melter on that one. Uh, in the Raven Wing, we've got an Apothecary. We've got a Black Knight squad here. Two units of Raven Wing bikers. Uh, one with a Plasma Gun here and a Power Sword. One with a Melter Gun over here. Then we've got two Typhoons in separate squadrons. And then we've got the Dark Talon. No, it's not the Dark Talon, it's the Land Speed of Vengeance, that's what it is. So it's got a pretty hefty plasma weapon on it. Uh, then we've got the Nefilm Jeff Fighter with the twin LAS cannon in the nose. And so if you're not familiar with what the, the Dark Angels can do, basically just like Space Marines with and they shall know no fear. Uh, the Raven Wing contingent have the Jinx special rule so if they go flat out they get a 5 plus and vulnerable save I don't know if that will come up this game but keep an eye on it they might and the Deathwing uh, they get the Unforgiven rule which means they automatically pass morale checks so we've got 2000 points here of world leaders dedicated to Corn, of course led by Zufa the Impaler and he is from the Skulltakers clan and he has a Demos Bolter, Claw of Demos, and a Skull Taker Axe. And he's got a Warlord trait, which is Exalted Champion. That's plus one attack. And then we've got some Terminators there. Get it out as you see. Uh, Combi Plasmas, by the way. And 
got Khan Vitray, the other headquarters choice. I don't know about him and what he can do. And we've got five units of Corn Berserkers. Kitted out differently. You can see how they're, how they're kitted out there with the weaponry. Got two land raiders. <clears throat> and again, you can see what I've got. What you see is what you get. And we've got a Rhino, it's another transport option. And two fast attack slots, two two lots of three bikers. It's a mark one. That's just pretty terrifying. Uh, world eaters on the charge give you plus one attack, so I'd expect a lot of charging. And there's a lot of plasma in here. Plasma pistols everywhere. Combi plasmas, big guns. Oh dear. Right, the objectives and both armies have been deployed now. So the Ravenwinger in this corner it ended up as. Uh, so we've got the flyer right in the corner of the board. We've got the Ravenwing bikes ready to move out onto objectives. We've got land speeders in support all around. Uh, there's Samil. Well, oh, where's he gone? There he is. Samil behind the land raider. And then in the shadows here we've got the Black Knights with the Apothecary as well. So the objectives we already hold is this one. We've got this one here just there. And then there's a the one in the distance right over there. So the World Eaters will be rolling out to contest that one. So here's the objective and here's the land raiders. So in each of these land raiders there's two five-man squads of berserkers, each with assorted nasty weapons. So they're ready to move out and claim uh, ground for the world eaters. In this rhino we've got another squad of berserkers and Khan is in there too. And then we've got a bike squad here and a bike squad here. So objectives located for the world eaters. There's one just beyond the pipes there. There's another in the middle of the street and the third one, where is it? Ah yes, it's in the middle of the battlefield there, just on the curb. So we're going to have to move out to get there, but that's exactly what the World Eaters want to do anyway. And uh, with all of the World Eaters units being in the vehicles, they've been able to uh, secure going first as well, unless the Dark Angels can steal the initiative on a six. Oh yes! <laughs> So before Dark Angel start to move at the start of the turn, this is when we try and uh, reveal these objectives. So this one on a six, this is the one that's needed. Oh, just teetered on a six there. Uh, this one over here is a three, so no. Objectives have not been revealed yet. Uh, the Dark Angels clearly have inside information, all those secrets. Uh, the new, how to get the drop on the World Eater. So first turn goes towards them, so they start to move out. Uh, so the bikes they're considered to be moving flat out so they've now got a 5 plus invulnerable save so we're holding this objective and this one just on the corner of the street. Uh, this stays still, we're going to get some shots off with this. Uh, two la this land speeder has stayed still, uh, Sam Hill has gone up to give it benefits for rerolls as is the flyer going forward and this moves from here so it's now going to get some shots off at the land raiders. It's important that the Dark Angels start to deal with some land raiders early. Uh, the Land Raider moves down the street to touch and the Black Knights and Apothecary swing around this way which is trying to de deny Terminators coming in too close to the Land Raider and uh, they're going to have to take the chances. They haven't turbo boosted, they're vulnerable to a Terminator attack but we're going to try and slow down this uh, Rhino in the distance with the Plasma Tal and see if the Dark Angels can get lucky with that. Right, so we're going to try and put some hurt on the Rhino in the distance, that's got Khan in. Very important to slow that down. So we've got two plasma talons going, not overcharging. Uh, we've hit a three. So strength seven against toughness seven of a rhino, so we're needing fours. Yep, there's two. It's AP minus three, so you'd be saving on six, but with city fight, uh, intervening terrain, just like in seventh edition, does apply, so that's for everything. So we'll save on fives. Both fail, so two wounds put on it straight away. And then we've got the Raven Wing Grenade Launcher. Two hits. This is strength six, needing five. Oh, get two. This is excellent work from the Dark Angels. So this is only AP minus one, so it turns out it's just going to be a straight three plus save. So one goes through, and it's D3 damage. So here we go. Gets two, so there's two more damage for it. So it's weakened. And then we've got the Apothecary again. He has Plasma Talons as well. Hits on threes, gets them both. Fours to wound, gets one of them. Seven on five again. 
does not get it. So five wounds straight away on the Rhino. Dark Angel is still targeting the Rhino, so the Flyer is next. So all weapons at the Rhino, except the last cannon, is going at the nearest Land Raider. Uh, do have rerolls because of Sam Hill. This has Strafe and Run as well, so no uh, missed dice basically because of his rerolls. So it's full rerolls. Uh, so Heavy Bolt is a shot first. We've come away with three wounds on the Rhino. Because a city fighter does have intervening terrain, so the AP minus one doesn't really matter, so it's going to save on threes. And it's got three to do. Fails two. Not a good day for dice rolling for world eaters, gotta say. Uh, so there's a further two. It's got four left, hasn't it? And now we've got the Black Sword missiles to fire. Uh, so hitting on threes because it's got strafe and run. Uh, so it gets one hit, and because Samuel's near, we've got to re roll that. So, yep, two hits. Strength 7 needing 4s. Do not get either. Do we use a command reroll? No, we're just going to leave that be. Right, so we've got two last cannons from the nose at the nearest land raider. So hitting on 3s because it's strafe and run. Both hit, don't need Samuel's reroll. So 3s to wound. Gets them both. That is out in the open, so the land raider is going to need to save on 5s because of its 2 plus armor save. Oh, get them both, alright, that's shut that down. Right, Dark Angels have shot off mainly all the guns now. The Land Raider has a go at the nearest Land Raider. Does a little bit of damage, I think we've got one wound on it, is that right? The Land Raider, this one you got one. One wound on that Two. one and we fired uh, the Land Speeder at it, didn't get much out of it. Even Samil had a go at the Land Raider, uh, didn't do anything. Uh, but we have achieved one whole point because of the Land Raider. And then this fires upon the other Land Raider, gets two wounds with a long range plasma, so pretty good. We've got one thing left to shoot, it's this land speeder up the top. It can see the rhino just round the corner there. So because we are actually up a height, almost forgot about it, if you're above the enemy with city fight, they don't get a cover save. So here we go then, we're gonna fire with missiles. It did stand still, so it's hitting on full ballistic skill, hits them both. Uh, strength eight needing threes against that rhino now. Gets one. It's AP minus two, so the Rhino will be saving on a five. It goes through, so the damage is three. How many wounds has it got left? So we've got seven minus ten on that. So it's Don't gone. Move. It's definitely gone. So that's gonna go. There's people on board. Let's see if it explodes. There's nobody around actually, so it doesn't explode, but there's nobody around to see it anyway if a tree falls in the woods. Right, the Rhino goes down, so with Khan on board of the Berserk, there's the six, any ones here, and it's deadly. So one Berserker is killed. He's command reroll. So command reroll, every Berserker counts. Okay, so he survives, just crawls out the wreckage. Right, so the Berserkers pile out the Rhino, and they're intact, so they're ready to mount a charge. The next turn, the Ravenwing are dangerously close. So that is the end of the turn. There's no first blood in open war. So that doesn't count. There's no points there. It's all about finding that objective, a crucial objective. Okay, we're into World Eaters turn one. And there weren't on any objectives at the start of the turn, so they can't reveal any. But they're starting to move on to the objectives now. So the uh, biker team come around this corner. They're going to have a look at this objective next turn. Uh, of course, we've got Khan and his squad. They're going to move out. They've only got it. Uh, I think it's a seven-inch charge. Might be it. We'll have to measure again. Uh, to the Rivenwing bikes, so not too far for them. Uh, they're looking worried. Those bikes now. Uh, this squad comes around the corner. Is going to support this Land Raider going up the street. Uh, the Terminators drop in as well with Zufa. So they're going to rapid fire all those combi plasmas off at all the Rivenwing. Uh, shooting ability, see what they can get. The Strand Raider starts to move out as well. There is an objective here, but they're going straight for the Ravenwing lines. Right, so the World Eaters have begun to shoot. So the bikes fire up at this land speeder, uh, get all the saves, but then the Land Raider is next. So the Heavy Bolters have gone on the land speeder, last cannons at the flyer. So the Heavy Bolters first, it's actually put five wounds on this land speeder that we're going to need to save. So we don't get any save for being in cover. And we've just had a double check just to make sure it is uh, not 50%. It isn't, so we're saving them fours against these heavy bolters for this land speeder. Okay, we've taken three wounds 
straight away on that land speeder. And now it's the last cannon, so they're firing at the flyer. Uh, minus one to hit, so hitting on fours, we're rolling ones because of Zeeper. Uh, so just two hits. That's uh, 50%. Right, so it's now needing threes to wound with those two last can hits. Here we go. Both go through. This has only got ten wounds, this fly. This could be deadly. Uh, needing sixes to save. Don't get any, so it's 2d6 save. We can't afford any stratagems. So it's a six and a cock die. So we're going to need to re-roll that one. It's another cock die in the trench. Okay, third attempt on a bit of flat there. It's a 6, right, so it was worth it in the end, so it's 12, it only has 10, so let's see if it explodes, hopefully not. It does not explode, so that goes down out the sky with relative ease, in fact. Right, moving on to this Land Raider, the Laz Cannons are going at this Flyer, this uh, Skimmer rather, yes. and then the Heavy Bolters are going at this Speeder up here, so we've got, uh, what's going first, Laz Cannons? Last cannons. So here they go. Fours. Four, no, threes to hit. Threes to hit. It's not a Flyer. So it gets one hit. Got to reroll one. Okay, one to reroll because the tank is just within range of Zufa. So that is a hit also, right? So wounding on threes against this. Right, there's double wound. Right, six is to save for this one. Nope, both go through. Don't have any saves for that. So, 2d6. Right, there's eight wounds. Gonna have to see how many this has got, in fact. It's taken eight. Right, so this vehicle actually has nine wounds, so it's got one left. It does not degrade either, so uh, it's on death's door. And then the heavy bolt has got up at this speeder. It's got four wounds to try and save. We are not within cover, just don't have that 50% blocking. And we save two, fail two, so it's taken two wounds. Right, Terminator's going to fire now, so they've picked the target. So the Reaper Auto Cannon is going to fire all the way over here at this. We'll get a save, but it's only on its last wound. And then we've got one plasma gun going at this land speeder, and then three combi plasmas at this land speeder. So here we go, then Reaper Auto Cannon. It's hitting on fours because it is a heavy weapon. Yep. So it's hit twice. It's strength seven. Uh, I'm going to have to look at the profile again. Right, this is toughness six, just like uh, any other sort of big swimmer. And there's two wounds, needing three. So both pass, it's AP minus one, but we have got 50% cover this time for intervening terrain because of the city fight rule. Uh, so we're back to threes to save. We need to get both of these or we are gone. Nope, we failed both. We've now been killed. Do we want to re-roll that in fact? Uh, yes, we use a stratagem, we'll re-roll. And we survive, luckily. Right, plasma's now, so the single plasma at this guy up the top. So he's missed on a two. And then we've got three plasmas at this. So the, no plasma is overcharging. These are out of fire. Yep, so they're within 12, so they're out of fire, needing threes, and then rerolling ones because of Zufa. So that looks four. like four, and then threes to wound. Two wounds. Alright, so that just tears through the armor just about, but we've got two saves to make of six. It's not going to kill us. But we'll make them anyway, that's remarkable. If only we've got those for the flyer, but nevertheless, that continues its life. Right, so we're going straight on the charges now. They're not opening fire because they don't want to extend the charge range. But uh, Khan is going to charge first. He wants to absorb any trick shot on his Iron Hill or, or his Signal of Corruption. If only these had the old Grim Resolve rule, that would be cool. But uh, his primary target is the Ravenwing Knight, secondary target is the Apothecary. I think we've gotten too close. Uh, we'll send them out for a bit of a bait unit, but they might just be killed. <laughs> so the Apothecary with the Plasma Talent, he's missed. Uh, we've got two more Plasma Talents. Again, no hits. And then the Ribbonwing, Assault Launcher, no. No Overwatch comes to pass. Okay, so Khan is going to need a 7 inch charge to get to the Ravenwing Bikers here. Here he goes. And he fails to command reroll. Command reroll. He's in on a 10. Nothing can stop him now. Right, the Berserker Squad now, they're needing a 7 as well. They fail and can't reroll. Whoa, got off light there. 
It's only the Terminator squad who have an icon of wrath, so they're the only ones who can uh, re-roll their charge range. The thought being in the transport, they would be able to do without that, but it's proven to be otherwise. Right, so Khan's the only one in the combat, but he's probably all they need anyway. Uh, because of the mission special world, you cast your mind back, everyone has an extra attack, so quite apt that Khan, being a world leader, is coming in this for this round of combat with 8 attacks. This is the number of Khan, this is the ultimate. Right, 8 attacks from Khan then on the Black Knight, so hitting on 2s. 8 attacks, so he gets them all, no death to the false emperor rolls there. 3s uh, to wound, and... Three do not hit the mark, but these are AP four, so there's five wounds there. So it's going to be D three each. So we'll do one at a time. So the first one is a wound, and there's a bike dead. Second one is another wound, and there's the other bike dead. Last one is a single wound. So actually, there's one bike left. That is remarkable. Well, we'll take the grenade launcher guy, that is very remarkable. So, uh, we could intervene here, but we're not going to, so Khan fights again. Right, Khan's second round of combat then, because he's a world leader. He's going to put six attacks on the apothecary, two attacks on this bike. It's all that he thinks he needs. So here we go on the apothecary, six attacks. Uh, can't reroll ones, but there was a six in there, so death of the false emperor. It's an extra attack. And hits that one as well, right? So threes to wound, and there is four wounds, right? So again, AP minus four, no save. It's D3 wounds, so you might as well just do them all together because this guy's just one guy. Just hitting two. Oh, that's well. So there's another two. He's got one wound left, and he is dead. So Apothecary goes down, and then there's two attacks on the Ravenwing Biker. Hit on twos. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so two hits, threes, just the one, and then it's, well, it's going to kill him. Lo he's already taken the wound, so that last bit of damage sees off that unit. So Khan reigns supreme. And so Khan consolidates on three inches towards the Land Raider, so what a menace. Turn two for the Dark Angels, so before anything moves, we're going to have to check these uh, objectives again. So we're going to see if this one is the objective again. We're going to rummage through it. No. This one on a six, it is it. No. So again, searching for this objective. Alright, the Dark Angels struggling to come up with some decisive moves here. So what we've done is uh, Sam Hilt's come down from upon high. He's going to take on Korn's champion himself put him down with the Raven Sword hopefully. So he's nasty on the charges, Sam Hill, that's going to be a fight for the ages. Uh, the Land Raider just swings around to the left a bit, we're not getting the Terminators out just yet. We need to find out where this objective is first. And uh, what have we got? We've got two Land Spaders just staying put. Uh, the bikes just reshuffle in the back, so these are still holding this objective, but they're just trying to make that charge range extra long from that Land Raider in the distance. Uh, these bikes still holding this objective, but they're just going to fire through the windows at the Terminators, just hope for the best. Uh, this is just going to have one more round of shooting before it succumbs. And uh, we did have a look at the profile again. These are actually damaged too, so those two wounds done to the Land Raider actually have four wounds. So that is pretty good against that. Might just overcharge it and go out in a blaze of glory, or might not. Depends what happens. 
Dark Angels are starting off well here. They've had the bolters from the Raven Wing firing through the windows and they've actually taken out a Terminator. Double one was rolled and with a stratagem re-rolled, rolled a one again so a Terminator drops down dead. Unfortunate for the World Eaters but it's good luck for the Raven Wing. Uh, right, we're going to do the dying breaths of this. So we're going to shoot through the windows of the building at the Terminators. They've got an invulnerable five save anyway. And this is the last shot we're getting. It's damage to this, so every shot could kill a Terminator. So it's D6. Oh, it's only a two. We're not going to re-roll. We're just not going to do it. Threes to hit. We only get one hit. And wounds on a three. We get that wound. So on a five, he saves. No, it's a four. So another Terminator is died with uh, damage to. It's doing well. Right, the heavy bolt then fires and saves on the Terminators. Because the upper height didn't, it would have still counted for uh, no cover, but saved anyway. Alright, so I'm he's not going to fire a con. We're going to fire the storm bolters at this unit here, and we're going to fire the plasma cannon at them. Just need to take out as much stuff all at once. So Sam Hill hitting on twos with this uh, double uh, storm bolter. So it's a whopping amount of shots for just one guy, and needing fours. Ooh, only gets four, which is the average. <laughs> so, uh, this is, we'll count this as whole area terrain. So, they are in cover. So, the seven on twos. One berserker goes down. That's, that's good. We we'll like that. And then, plasma cannon. It's getting three shots. Wow. Right, he's hitting on threes because he moved with the heavy weapon. And we do get a reroll filled misses. So, we can't reroll the two because he is he does hit on twos, but we can reroll the two one and we'll roll another one so threes to wound and we don't get that either right so plasma cannon not bringing home the bacon right the crusaders starting to fire now so we've had uh we've dedicated our weapons we've had the we've got the multi mallet to fire at the land raider uh we'll fight the hurricane bolters at the terminator squad killed one we'll fight the assault the twin assault cannon at them and we've come away with nine wounds for them to save and we're also going to do doing this sponsor at uh khan because he's the nearest. So first, lost the Terminator because of the Hurricane Bolter. Now there's nine saves on threes for these Terminators. And there's four fill, so the last two Terminators go down. Wipeout. Did not expect that to happen this turn. So right, that was good. That was very good. This is all down to Samuel being near and getting re-rolling ones for them. So here we go. We've got the Assault Cannon... Uh, the Hurricane Bolt is at Khan now, because he is the nearest. So that wasn't very good, but real ones because of Samuel, luckily. So we'll get rid of these twos. So, three roll. Right. Seven wounds. Wound on fours against Khan. Right, it's three wounds. He's going to need to save on threes. Yep. Guess them all, right? Good for him. It's going to live on. It's going to be a fight for the ages, this. Right, now we've got the Melter, multi-melter. It is in double dice range, if we can get it. So we're going to hit on a three, hopefully. No, we'll miss. Okay, well, that's the end of that one. All right, so the land speeders are next to fire. So this one fires. Uh, the heavy bolter at Carney was the nearest. Didn't do anything. He got his save. Rockets at the land raider didn't do anything. And then this one fired all of its shots down at this Berserker squad here and missed every single shot. So land speed is not working this turn and it's looking horrible for the Raven Wing now. Uh, we're hoping we could just chip maybe one or two wounds off Khan because that would make our job easier but now it looks like we're about to die. We're going to charge into combat, we've got to do it. So Khan, he can overwatch with the Super Plasma Pistol. Does not hit, right, so in we go with Samuel. And he's in. Okay. Here he goes. Okay, here we go, fight for the ages, and I'm not feeling good about it, I've got to say. <laughs> Khan's too formidable. Alright, so Samuel's got five attacks in his profile. Because of the mission twist, he gets an extra attack. Uh, so we're coming in with six attacks, so you're hitting on twos with the Raven Sword. Alright, we get a reroll, all filled to hit rolls. And that is crucial, we really needed all of our hits. Uh, on the attack, Samuel, with the Raven Sword, is strength. Eight. So we're actually winning on twos. 
we'll get them all, that's crucial stuff for our Khan, is going to have to save 5 wounds on his invulnerable 4, and this is damage 2. Right, so there's 3 gone through, so that would be 6 wounds he would take, and he would die, so you're going to have to use a command reroll if you want to live. And he lives, right, he's taken 4 wounds, Khan. Alright, so Khan is ready to fight. He's only got one wound left. If only one of the bolt guns from anywhere just took that last wound off him, he would have been dead. So now we wish we committed Asmodai to the fight as well. He would have been well up for this. Yeah. But now we've got bad feeling for Samuel here. So Khan's got seven attacks because of the mission rule. It's on twos. Right, so he's got two misses, which he can't re-roll. Uh, no sixes in there, luckily. So he's wounding on. He's strength six, he's needing threes. Four go through. Right, Samuel is going to need to save on his Iron Halo. Oh, fails two. Uh, hmm. Going to use a command re roll. Oh no. So we've used the command re roll. So two D3 wounds on Samil. So there's two and five in total, right? He's taken five wounds, unless his warlord trait tenacious survivor can save a few here. We save one, so he's taken uh, four wounds. So he's got six wounds on his profile, so he's got two left. But the bad news is Khan will fight once more. So seven attacks and drops one, but there's double six in there, so two. Death of the False Emperor rolls. Okay, just another one. Three to wound. Nothing short of a miracle. Gonna keep Samuel alive here. But that's a good start for a miracle. So we've got three wounds on him. He's gonna have to save on his Iron Halo. Oh no, we're not getting his Iron Halo saves. Two go through. So it's D3 damage apiece. And the first one's a three. Second one's a three. It's just not the B. He's just totally dead. No way, we're going to roll five sixes here. Nope, Samuel has died. That's the Warlord dead, but no points for it. But that is just... That is just grim. Gruesome stuff. Okay, so that was a very sad turn for the Dark Angels. Very, very sad indeed. Uh, just incredibly lucky there for Khan not going down. Not even getting a few wounds on him from all the gunfire. And then Samuel just not being able to take those on his Iron Halo save. He's dead. Expected him to... Survive one round of combat at least, but he's dead now. Sorrow fills the Dark Angel's line. Right, World Eaters turn two, and they need to check for the objective. So this one on a six is found. No, and then they've got another one here on a six that is found. It is, it's the one the furthest away from the Dark Angels, so it's just went from bad to worse. Uh, did steal the initiative, but everything else has been a disaster so far. Alright, so all objectives are removed now, it's just this objective, and it's a servo skull. Inside, what information that servo skull has on certain individual, and the Dark Angels with all their secrets, we couldn't possibly comment. World Eaters turn two, so now that the objective is turned up, uh, the world is going against their normal nature, so uh, this unit is not going to charge. They're just going to stay in cover, fire some bold pistols around. Uh, Khan's going to go into the shadows, he's going to lick his wounds. doesn't fancy charging a, a land raider with just one wound left. He's just going to wait till those terminators show up and probably just try and jump, in them, jump on them from the shadows. Uh, this berserker unit, there's still one in there, a five-man team, but the five-man team gets out. They're going to charge this land speed to finish that off. And then this land raider, the Deathwing land raider, is going to come under massive assault from these uh, last cannons here. Uh, be surprised if that's left standing. And the world eaters pretty much might just run away with it at this point. Right, world eaters for the shooting phase. It's actually ended. We've just done all the shots. Uh, we've got this land raider over here. Fired one sponson up here. Knocked out the uh, the dark. The vent, no, what's it called? Land speed of vengeance. There we go. Got that in the end. <coughs> so that's been finished off. Only had one wound left. So expert shot of the last cannon. Some heavy bolt of shots up here. They've stripped a wound off this. Still got three left. Uh, plasma pistol from the berserkers over here. Stripped a wound off this. Has got two left. 
but it's ready to be charged by these berserkers here who fired their pistols up here but didn't do anything so they're ready to finish this off so we're losing firepower thick and fast now uh, last cannon down at the land raider here missed even with three roll ones from Zufa. this one try to target this missed a lot of shots came away with four damage so we've still got a handful left we're not actually as wounded as we thought we we're going to be so this hangs in there need this is pretty much all we've got for firepower here since this land speed is going to go down this one's in no shape to really continue it's halfway gone so we're going to go straight on to assault this squad is going to go in on this land speeder all right so berserkers go in on a big charge so they're ready to tear this out of the sky they're going to fight twice and with that extra attack as world eaters and the extra attack because of the mission extra rule this is going to be going down pretty sharpish there we are, Zerters make short work of that, the, the champion alone, fighting twice, had 10 attacks with a power sword and that was all it took. Just cut that down straight out of the sky. Did not explode, so no damage from any explosion that might have been. Okay, Dark Angels turn three, we're halfway. This game only lasts for five turns, so uh, we've had visions of keeping the Deathwing in the Land Raider and just trying to get around to that objective as soon as possible, but uh, we'll get here, and then turn four we'll get here. Turn five we would get to the objective, but we couldn't really do much about it. We'd just get swamped. There's far too much infantry ready to counter us here, so we're going to have to just go through the World Eaters, it seems. Uh, so we're going to start here, so what we should have done a long time ago is we're going to dispatch Khan, hiding behind the wall, we've got the Knight Raider just to take care of that unit, we might even charge the Land Raider, uh, we just don't know yet. Uh, these Ravenwing bikes go to the left, we're going to try and take out all of these Berserkers in the building, we did have plans on charging them, but they did not drop down a level, so we can't go upstairs with bikes, so we're just going to have to shoot them out of there and the land speeder is going to have to help out somewhere as well so we'll have to see how this all turns out in the shooting phase with significantly less bodies and important units we really miss Samil right so we've had our shooting phase with the dark angels so it didn't go too well but there's some good stuff in there uh, Rivenwing bikers find it really hard to dig out those berserkers in cover with saving on twos couldn't afford to leave even one alive with the champion having 10 attacks with uh, Berserk has been able to fight twice and on the charge and with the mission, mission rule even one of them is just a massive threat so eventually we had to dig them out with the bolt guns here uh, the land spear didn't do too well against them but we did uh, six wounds on the land raider because of a missile which was pleasant and then there was one left in there because of all that and then we had to finish them off with the hurricane bolters and uh, we did the assault cannons at these again try to dig these out but there's two left with the assault cannon and then of course the multi melter for the third time running missed so we're desperate now really desperate so what we're going to have to do is charges so we're going to charge the land raider into Khan uh, with the frag assault launchers we could get some mortal wounds but we'll have to do that when the time comes we're going to do the terminators we're going to do a multi charge we're going to charge the land raider and the Berserkers, and as Mordai is going to charge the Berserkers as well. We're going to hedge our bets here, we're going to bank it all on these Terminators being able to survive. Okay, so we've done our charges. Uh, the Land Raider has gone in on Khan. Uh, as Mordai goes in on the Berserkers, do, so do the Terminators, and we we'll move on to the Land Raider as well. We we'll suffer one wound off the Heavy Bolt, and lucky it wasn't the last cannon. So we're in good position now for attacks. So, first of all, before any fights are done, it's at the end of the charge phase. 
On a 4 plus, Khan will take D3 mortal wounds because of the assault frag launches. So on a 4 plus, come on. It's a 2. Right, we're going to use a command reroll. We must kill him. Yes, so it's D3 mortal wounds. The lowest weapon roll is a 1. He's only got one wound left, so Khan is killed by a frag assault launcher. Out of all that weaponry that could have killed him, it's a frag assault launcher that gets him. Okay, so what's happened is the Nightmaster he's flailed the Berserkers to death, and now we've got the uh, Deathwing Knights. They're going to fight this Land Raider, so they're very capable of taking this out if they can uh, crack that armor. So the Deathwing Knights have got two attacks each. They've got one extra one because of the mission, and then because as more dies within six, they get a further attack. So they've got four attacks each with this uh, occasion. So we're hitting on fours, and I can barely pick up the dice, so here we go. Threes to hit. And then we re-roll misses because of Asmodai, and these weapons hit on full ballistic skill, and not like a thunder hammer. There's another miss. Well, that was pretty bad, wasn't it? So threes to try again. So, right, we'll only miss two in the end. So, thank you, Asmodai. Right, these are strength eight, so using big dice here. Strength 8, AP minus 2. So 4s to wound. And there's a 1 I've dropped. Okay, so we've came away with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 wounds on the Land Raider. Yeah. So 8 to save, and it's AP minus 2, so 4s needed. Oh, it's a good roll. So 3 go through, and it's damage 3 each, so there's 9 wounds on the Land Raider. Right, so the Land Raider actually only had nine wounds left, so we've just, just killed it with those three carefully placed blows. So let's see if it explodes on a six. It does not explode. Each side breathes a sigh of relief there, because that uh, Warlord, he would have been on the receiving end also. So we have to see, there's five guys on board, so ones will kill them. There's one in there, so there's another Berserker dead, and that Land Raider goes up in smoke. Right, so combat are done. Uh, these get out, there's only four left and they've uh, gone behind the wall a bit there. So as Mordai he's triggered a fight and he just uh, piles in and consolidates over there. You can do it, even if there's no enemy unit to do it. I actually, actually read, didn't know you could do that, but I actually read that on Frontline Gaming, the guys who play tested this game, so... Very, very well done to them for pointing that out, so that's what I've done. And on we go, as Mordai has got the boys riled up now stomping down the street. Okay, so the world leaders have been waiting for this moment. It's now turn three. The Terminators are out and the corn counter-attack is upon us. So the bikes have moved to get a shot. There is a surviving squad here. It's got plasma pistols. There's a power fist in there as well. There's three plasma pistols in that squad. Uh, this is a squad that was exactly the same as three plasma pistols in this squad and a power fist. They've all got chain axes. The big counter-attack looms large. Right, well, they just started shooting, so we've had uh, Sponson at this land speeder. Actually, it's on its last wound now, but it's hanging on. And then we had the heavy boulder and this last cannon uh, Sponson at the bikes just up the street. Killed a bike and a half, so we've still got two bikes left there. And... We got pretty lucky, got to say, but this is where we need to get really lucky with the last stand of the Terminators, so plasma pistols are done. I've right, got three plasma pistols here, not overcharging, so here they go. Right, they did get the chance to reroll ones, but two will not do it. Three, so two wounds, we have to take these on the storm shield. Come on. We save them both, that's a good start. Got three more plasma pistols here. Oh, I've got a squad. Alright, okay. Hits with this. No. And right, now we've got this unit. Three plasma pistols. Oh, just one hit. Leading the three. Gets it. Okay, Storm Shield, save us. Emperor. No. We've lost the Terminator because he already had a wound. Right. We did expect to die in droves here, but we've came through quite nicely. Still more to come. Okay, Zufa is actually going to do a stratagem here, going to do Demon Shell uh, for his Demios Bolter. It is a bolt from the bolt gun family, so he's going to put it up there. So here we go, he needs to hit on a two. 
gets it, so it's D3 mortal wounds. But we've only got one wound left, so it goes down finally. The land speeder succumbs. Uh, the bike's shooting now, mass amount of attacks uh, or shots from these uh, combi bolters. And they've come away with four wounds, got to save on these terminators. They've gone through the ringer. Survive, yes. Terminator stems the bleeding. Where charges have been made, so all these Berserkers from around here and Zufa have gone in on the Terminators, so Zufa charges the Terminators, this squad charges the Terminators, this squad charges the Terminators and Asmodai, so there's a Power Fist on Asmodai and there's a Power Fist in there and of course Zufa is a monster as well. So this is going to be horrendous. Right, so before anything happens, the World Eaters have played another stratagem, Veterans of the Long War, for the big five-man unit that just joined that combat. Deadly stuff, and they're going to select a fight with Zufa first. So he's got, he's got two weapons. Go take that axe. He's got he's loads got of attacks. He's got two weapons. Demos. Right, Zufa is going to attack first. So he's got five attacks in his profile. Extra one because of his warlord trait. Extra one for charging because of world leader, and extra one because of the mission special rule. So of course he ends up with eight attacks, just as Corn would like. So he hits on twos. And uh, he rerolls all filled hit rolls. I think you should say we're using skull taker axe here. Yep, he's using skull taker axe. Right, so there's two death of the false emperors in there, so an extra two attacks on that as well. So two more. I've got two nice big. Right, so they they convert as well. Right, so needing threes to wound on these. Escaped with a couple there. There's four don't make it. The five I do. Alright, this is AP minus two and damage two. So each failure is a terminate dead. So Storm Shields to the rescue again. Come on. Oh yes. No. Oh yes. Now for the ultimate trick. We've got two command points left. We've been waiting for this all game. For this exact reason, we're now going to play counter offensive with our last two command points. The Terminators are not going down without a fight, I tell you. So, although the Dark Angels don't have any stratagems, they have cunning using the basic ones. So, we've got two Terminators to fight here. We're going to fight this Berserker squad, and then the Champion and the other Terminator are going to fight the bigger squad. Just going to hope for the best, right? So, Asmodai gives them an extra attack, and the mission gives them an extra attack. They've got four attacks each. Champion's got five. We're gonna fight ourselves out of this corner. So the two basic guys first against the smaller team, hitting on threes. As Mordai is on hand to give us rerolls. Right, we've dropped two. These are strength eight, so we're needing twos to wound. Oh no! No! Only two. Who would have thought, right? Seven on fives for the smaller squad. So we do kill two in the end, but that could have been so much better. All right, onto the champion and the other guy. Right, this guy to fight the biggest squad. Hopefully we don't see a disaster like that again. Rewalk as far as more down. Yes, we've got them all. Twos to wounds. Again, we've missed one, but uh, three to save on fives. Right, we've killed another two out of the bigger squad. Now here we go, it's all down to the flail of the unforgiven. Hits on threes, got five attacks. Rerolls because of Asmodai. Gets them all, that's good. Strength six, needing threes, this is the hard part. Right, we get get the lot, that's, that's good enough for me. This is AP minus three, so you're needing sixes on these. Gets one six, right, the magic of the flail of the Unforgiven, it is damage two, but the damage actually unusually spills over onto different units. So we've killed three, and it would actually be six dead, but I think there's only three in the unit, in fact. So it is three left in the unit, so they've been wiped out, but that could have been a lot more. All right, so because of, <laughs> of those ones, this champion, he's gonna fight back. He's gonna fight as Mordai. This guy's fighting the Terminators. This guy with a power fist. We're just gonna do both fight phases together because I don't have any command points to intervene again, so. He's got 10 attacks with a power fist towards Asmodai, so he's hitting on 4s and rerolls 1s. Okay, so 3s don't count, 
the sixes aren't death to the false emperor with a power fist because it's a minus one so that six becomes a five but he's hit with the majority and it's now twos to wound hopefully you can see it's three of ones no this could be the end of Asmodai the characters and the dot angels have just had such a hard time so seven to save on his iron on his Rosarius let's get it right Rosarius that was seven fours to save come on oh no he's dropped four so d3 damage on Asmodai on four dice three two two he's dead big time poor Asmodai we thought he might get us to shout in there for that Miss did well, right? There's one more Berserker to fight, and he's fighting twice, right? So, this Berserker fights now, he's got eight attacks fighting twice. We're just doing it all together. Uh, got a few deaths of the False Emperors in there, and he's ended up with five wounds on the Terminators. And it's AP1 is a chain axe, so we're saving on the threes again. Can we get lucky one more time? We do we only suffer one wound on the Terminator. So that is the end of turn three for World Eaters. Zufa does not get to fight again. He's not a berserker, thankfully. And the grand plan for the Dark Angels almost paid off. It wasn't for all those ones, as Mordai would have lived and probably killed those two berserkers. But he's died instead. And uh, the berserkers automatically pass their morale because they only lost two. And the Terminators do the same. So, I feel a little bit better now. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's still a struggle. It's going to be a struggle till the end. Right, Dark Angels turn four, struggling on. It's not the last turn yet. It does only go on for five turns. We've got one more turn to try and get there. So the Land Raider is advanced to only advanced an inch. So that was really hard to bear. Uh, the bikes, their turbo boost, they automatically go 20 to there. So they're close, but don't fancy their chances. We're just trying to throw units onto the objective now. Uh, this bike squad are going to try and help out the Terminators because the Terminators, it's not over. It's never over. No relent. Right, there's nothing much to shoot. We've had a uh, plasma gun, hit, fill the wound, and then a couple of bolt guns at the bikes, fill the wound as well. So it's just straight on the combat. Uh, we're going to have the Ravenwing bikes. They're going to go in against the Lord here, and then we're going to fight it all together. So here we go. Okay, so the Ravenwing bikes go in. They're going to attack first. Zufa has got seven wounds. This is going to be incredibly hard. Uh, but because of the mission special rule, we've all got an extra attack. So he's got two and he's got an extra one with a power sword. Uh, because of the mission. So three. Hits twice. Needs fours to wound against so far. And we get one. So he's seven on his four plus in one against his power sword. What was that? It's a three. He takes his first wound. Right, the Raven Wing Biker's put in three wounds on him. Saves all of those. Right, now it's time to trigger the Terminators. Okay, so Terminators to fight. We've lost Asmodai. It's going to be nowhere near as powerful as it was before. But we're going to try. We're going to have the champion and this Terminator are going to fight Zufa. So the champion first. We've lost Asmodai, so we've lost an attack. And the ability to reroll failed misses. So hit three times. Wounds on threes. We'll get two wounds on Zufa. Seven on the invulnerable four. One goes through, and that's two damage. Right, this Deathwing Knight now, he's going to fight. Again, he's down an attack. We're hitting on three. And he's got two. It's crucial. Two's to wound. We'll get them both right. Zufa, this is damage three. So if he fills both of these, he's going to die. So fours. He's filled one. 
but not the other. Right, he's taken another three wounds. Right, Zufa, he's taken six wounds. He's got one wound left. How painful. He's almost dead, and he's going to strike back, but not before the two heroic terminators here are going to take on these berserkers. So, again, we've dropped an attack because of the absence of Osmodite. So, we've got three attacks now each. We're hitting on threes. We'll get the majority. Right, twos to wounds. Come on. We'll drop one. There's four wounds. Seven on fives because it's only AP2. He's filled all but one. No, he's, sorry, he's passed all but one, which <laughs> means I wish he filled all but one. Which means our power fist will strike back. We just cannot kill the guys that we need to here. One power fist hangs on, and again, that is 10 attacks coming our way. Right, Zufa, he's going to turn around and he's going to sort these bikes out with the claw of Damnos. So he's toughness five, and it's basically a power fist, which means strength 10. So he's going to wound these guys on two. So he needs to hit first. He's got seven attacks. Much like a power fist, it'll hit on a three. So that one drops and sixes because it's minus one to hit. Do not become uh, death of the false emperor. So still, that's the lion share, unfortunately, and twos to wound. All right, they're all gonna see saves having to be made. Right, six save on sixes. Come on, make one. So it's D3 damage each, so one at a time, because the bikers are two wounds each. So one's dead, one's dead, and they're all dead. There we go. It's the end of the bikes. Right, we've got this stubborn corn champion. He's now got eight attacks, not ten, uh, because the, he's not on the charge anymore, basically. So he's got three attacks plus one because of the mission. So here we go, and he's fighting twice just because we can't intervene this time. So he's needing fours to hit because of the power fist. We rolls ones because of Zufa. Oh, no. That was a four. Yeah, so we're all is good. Two's to wound. They all wound, right? Gonna have to wish for our vulnerable threes. We're not using the red dice. The born dice have been going well for us. So we're gonna try one more time for a miracle. Here we go. Nothing short of a miracle. <laughs> Dodgy dice. Thing. One. There's one. And because we've already got a wound on this Terminator, it doesn't matter about the damage, he will die. Unfortunately. So, that's it. Right, well, it is turn four. Just securing up that objective. We only need to hold it for one more turn, and then the game is there. So the bikes have come around. They've been in wait all all this time around this corner. Tower boosted over here. They're going to shut down the attack from the Raven Wing bikers here. Uh, these bikes go forward. Deadly stuff. Uh, they've got two attacks, a chainsaw, world eaters, extra one, and then the extra one for the mission. They're going to have five attacks each probably. Coming in on those bikes, it's going to be ugly. Very ugly. The Land Raider's moving in as well. Going to try and take out the, the Deathwing Land Raider. It's all what we've got now is Deathwing Land Raider, a couple of bikes. And these Terminators have been fighting so hard, they're going to have to come up with more threes on the Storm Shield to save again. But here we go. It's a nail biter. Could. There is a way it could be done if we're very, very lucky. All right, shooting for the World Eaters. Bikes of Rapid Fire into the Raven Wing bikes. All save. Rat firing bikes and the Raven Wing bikes all save again. They're just hanging on. What can we say? And then the the big mystery is this misses every single shot at that land raider at that range. So pop and smoke was a good idea. Missed every single one. But let's see if this guy with the plasma pistol is gonna miss. He's can fire in combat, he does not miss. Right, threes to wound. Oh, <laughs> It seems to be going right for the <laughs> for the Dark Angels here. Just hanging on. No dice rolling's going cons way this time. Uh, but we're moving straight on to Assault. So who will be fighting first? Yes, we're charging here. Okay, we'll do some Overwatch. See if we can just gun down all these bikes somehow. All right, the bikes wipe out the Raven Wing bikers. Too easy. And then consolidate onto the Land Raider. So the Land Raider's now going to be silenced for next turn. So just with that move... It might have just won the game for the world eaters. Nothing that Land Raider can do about it. So going on to these combats now, so which guy are you picking to fight first? Big guy. 
Okay, Zufa. Alright, so Zufa again, seven attacks, and he's using the Skull Taker Axe, which means he's going to hit on twos, wound on threes. Here he goes. And he gets real ones. And he's got Death of the False Emperor, so you might as well just re-roll that. Yep, so they've all come through. Now the important part is threes. To wound. So two, go awry, and then we've got a straight eyes. Okay, right, that's five wounds on the Terminators. This is damage two each. So this could wipe out the Terminators if we don't roll amazingly well for our Storm Shields. Shield wall. We've lost two Terminators. It's not cool. Right, we've taken these two Terminators. It's the champion left to fight. It's the last stand of the Deathwing. Champion, he's got three attacks in his profile. Extra one because of the mission rule. Here we go. Zufa's got one last wound. Can we do it? Okay, well, we've got three hits. Wound on threes. Yes, all of them. Saves on four. Unless he's dead, he fails it. Zufa has been brought down. Excellent. Alright, so he's, Zufa's died. This Berserker can't fight because he didn't charge his turn and he isn't within an inch of an enemy so he can't consolidate because he's not within an inch and he didn't charge so he gets away with the Terminator, he doesn't have to take any morale check because he's uh, he's from the Death Wing but the Land Raider's been silenced and we've only got one Terminator left and we're entering into turn 5 and we're that far away from the objective Alright, turn 5 for the Dark Angels and we've been locked in combat. We did fight with the Land Raider, didn't do any damage to the bikes unfortunately. Uh, okay, so we've pretty much lost, there's no way we can get there, the game ends at the end of turn 5. I'm just going to have a heroic charge from this Terminator against this his nemesis, this guy with the 100 attacks with his power fist. So he's going to charge in and you're going to overwatch the power, uh, power Spacer, are you going to... Overcharge it. Give it the big one. For two damage, yeah. Absolutely. Ah, he kills us. <laughs> Doesn't even give him the honour of killing him in combat. Ah. Oh. Well, how spiteful can you get? Kills himself with his own plasma pistol. And that is the end. We just have to concede there. There's nothing we can do. Corn. Taking the objective, it was just eerily corn all the way through the game. Extra attack. The objective turns up there. Oh. Horrible, can't get through it. Your boys fought well though. Yeah, Dark Angels, it's been a while since I've been the Dark Angels and uh, they performed well for us. I didn't think that our army was going to do too well given the circumstances, but we're that, just... They had plenty of resolve, but really... the whole thing ended up pretty grim. <laughs> okay, unit of the game, it's got to go to the Deathwing. The uh, Deathwing Knight, to be more specific, came through it all, went into hell and one of them survived. Uh, did well, didn't think they were going to do that well, this army, given the circumstances and where the objective turned up, but would certainly give it a good go. And I think for the World Eaters, it's got to be the Land Raiders, they just shot everything that was black, just shot it all down, and just couldn't do anything about it. The double Land Raider attack just too strong, and then the, the choppiness of the, the Corn Berserkers was just too much to take. So, there we go. They will be back, the Unforgiven, they never forget and they never forgive. So, on to the next one, hopefully with a new codex.